This is question number 10 and it carries four marks. We're told the equation x cubed plus 2x is equal to 110 has a solution between 4 and 5. We're asked to use a trial and improvement method to find this solution. It says give your answer correct to one decimal place. We must show all of our workings. I'm going to set up a table. So if we just set up a table, we'll have a value of x, we will have an answer and we will have a comment. So let's do this then and just placing these on. So let's start now with x. So x, this is going to be now my answer and then I'm going to have a comment. So if we start with x is equal to 4, all we're going to do is plug this into a calculator. So I'm going to have 4. We can either press this button with a 3 in or we can press this one. This will give us any power we want. So 4 to the power of 3 plus two lots now of four. So this is going to give me 72. So we can write in our answer is 72. The comment is that it's too small. So it's too small and we now go ahead and try five. Five is going to be too big. So if we put this in, we're going to end up now with 135. So 135. Our comment now is that this is too big. So we can see now that the answer or the solution to this equation lies somewhere between the two. We're now going to try 4.5. In this column, we only have values to one decimal place. So I'm not going to be doing 4.51, 4.52. We're just doing to one decimal place for now. So switching this over, I'm going to do it to 4.5. So let's do 4.5. That's going to give me now 100.125. Uh, so let's put this in. So 100.125. We can say that this is too small. So we know that our answer now is going to be somewhere between 4.5 and 5. So let's try the logical thing of 4.6. So in the calculator, I'm simply switching this over and going from there. So 4.6. So 4.6 is going to give us now on here, that will be 106.536, so 106.536, so we can say this is still too small. The logical thing now is to try 4.7. So if we do 4.7, hopefully this one will be too big. So changing this over, we can see now on here, 4.7 changing that one, it's going to give us 113.223. So 113.223, and this is too big. We can see now that the answer lies somewhere between the two. What I'm going to do to finish this question off is just draw a number line. This is not the only way that you can do it, but it's a nice way of showing it. So what we have then is the following. We've got 4.6, which is too small, we've got 4.7, which is too big. What we're going to do is test 4.65. So we can see this is too small, so just jotting this on, so too small, and then we're going to say now too big, and we can just go ahead and test the middle of this. So too big, and let's do that. So in the calculator, just swapping this over, 4.65, so 4.65. So none of these tests here, apart from the final one, are to any degree of accuracy greater than one decimal place. It's only because I'm testing the midpoint. So what we can say then now is the following. This is going to give us 109.8. So let's put this in. So that's going to be 109.8 dot, dot, dot. Now we can say this is too small. So it's still too small and therefore we can see that it's going to round to 4.7. It's too small here, it's still too small at the halfway, and any value in here is going to round to 4.7 to one decimal place. So we can say now 4.7 to one dp, so to one decimal place, and that is our answer. So I've shown now it's too small here, it's still too small here, it's too big here, any value in here will round to 4.7 to one decimal place.